What's up guys, how you guys doing? Today I wanna to talk about the top 10 things to do in Medellin, Colombia. Every time people come here, they always say, go to Comuna 13. The whole entire tour and the experience has become so tour size, it's really not that big of a deal. I remember when I first came like three years ago and I went to Comuna 13, it was pretty cool because it still retained a lot of like the Colombian culture, but it's slowly become just like this tourist trap. Everybody's trying to sell you something. A bunch of people are dancing, rapping and everything. They're just like funneling you into these groups where they ask for money and everything. If I'm being honest, I don't recommend Comuna 13. Unpopular opinion, but that's just what I think. Number one, this is my favorite place in all of Medellin and it is Parque del Rio. In the morning, it can get a little bit hot, but especially when the sun is setting, it is the best time to visit this place. I just think that the park is extremely beautiful because you have the river in the middle. You get really beautiful views of the city. When it's Christmas time, they light this whole entire place up. They put a bunch of lights on the river. Every single year that I've gone, it's always been amazing. Number two, going to a finca with friends. You can rent a finca that's outside of Medellin. You can go to the coffee region. You can do it in some other parts of the country, like in Jardin. This is what most Colombians like to do when they go on a holiday. For a weekend, they'll go to like this big mansion out in the middle of nature. You bring drinks, you bring friends, you guys just have a good time, you're dancing. Number three, staying in really beautiful apartments. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Medellin has grown a lot these last few years. And something that I really love about the city is that how it's very modern thinking and it's a city with a lot of style. The architecture here is really beautiful, but if you look at the buildings too, the buildings all have a very unique design and touch and the architects here do a very, very good job. So that's why I'm really happy that I got to stay here. Thank you for Local Medellin for allowing me to stay. I love what Rick is doing because this apartment is like a dog theme, but also it has a movie theater. It has some of the best views I've ever seen in any apartment here in Medellin. And something you really need to take advantage of is that in Medellin, no matter where you go, the view are always beautiful so you can be in the middle of the city and you'll see a bunch of buildings going up into the sky when it's nighttime and it turns dark and you see all the buildings and the lights it looks like stars it's amazing so you need to stay at a really nice apartment hit up my friend rick with local medellin because he has some really amazing luxury apartments it's a great way to enjoy your time here a home away from home number four paragliding there are a few spots i believe around an hour outside of the city where you can go and paraglide i don't think it's that expensive and you can take advantage of one of the best parts about Colombia the views and being able to do it here for a third or a fourth of the price that would have cost in the states plus i think the nature here is better so don't miss out on paragliding number five ciclovia so this is actually not unique just to medellin almost every single city in colombia does some form of ciclovia i like the one in medellin because sometimes they'll even block off the freeways and the highways and if you've seen videos on TikTok of people like skating on the freeways that is here in medellin i know that every single weekend here in poblao around santa fe mall they block off the main street and there's a bunch of people walking with bikes, skateboards, their dogs. It's one of the coolest things about Colombia and it's something you have to experience while you're here. Number six, El Hueco for flea market shopping. So there's a specific spot in El Centro called El Hueco, which is essentially where all the like imitation stuff is. So you can go and buy shoes, you can go and buy glasses, you can go and buy clothes and everything is like at a fraction of a price. I like going to places like this because you can kind of haggle for prices, but also here in Minnesota, and you don't want to be walking around with like super name brand stuff so in my opinion you just go buy a few t-shirts that are pretty nice like a third of the price of what the brands charge and i was able to get these ray-ban sunglasses that feel exactly like the original i think it was 110 mil colombian pesos so for like 25 bucks you can go to the many malls around the city but if you're looking for a bargain el hueco is the place to be i have a medellin travel guide if you guys are interested it's free all you got to do is sign up to my newsletter i give you guys a bunch of really good information about colombia how to get a visa uh, share with you guys my contacts. There's also a link if you guys want to set up a consultation with me and my course is also available for purchase if you guys like. Number seven, take a bike ride around the city. So this is something that I did when I first arrived to Colombia and they have these like bike stations all around the city. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. And if you have a cedula, you can apply for like the program and then you can use these bikes for free all over the city. A lot of Medellin, especially in the middle where the metro is, a lot of it's flat. When you go biking around the city, you can see a lot of the 
really cool spots in the city and you can do it within a couple of hours. Because it's a valley, everything is pretty accessible, but because the population has grown so much these last few years, the traffic is horrendous. So being able to bike everywhere, and especially in a place like Laurelis or Belen where everything's flat, it's a really, really cool experience. Number eight, going to a football game. Colombians love their football. It's almost like a religion here. I think that's just like all of Latin America, but if you go to a Medellin football game, especially when they have El Clasico where the two Medellin teams fight off, it is some of the craziest football, most intense football you've ever seen, and it's just a really, really amazing vibe. However, I will be careful because sometimes Colombians take their football so seriously that they could, you know, get into fights and stuff, but I don't think it's enough to warrant not visiting this thing, so definitely check out a football game. Number nine, dancing. So Cali is the salsa capital of the world and the dancing scene in Cali is on a whole nother level but here in Medellin actually gives Cali a run for their money. So there are a few bars all around the city in Poblao, in Laureles, Sonavana, Dance Free, some other bachata bars as well. So if you're looking to learn how to dance here there are a bunch of studios that are available if you want to take lessons. Dancing is a really good way to meet people if you want to date too because you know just from a physical standpoint if you have good dancing chemistry with somebody it like translates into to sexual chemistry too, if you know what I mean. Number 10, the Botanical Gardens and Parque Explora. So this is actually something that a lot of foreigners don't talk about, but I think it's highly worth the visit. So the Botanical Gardens is just like this big park area with a bunch of plants and a bunch of nature you can walk around. It's just like a really beautiful walk and it's located like right in El Centro. But next to the Botanical Gardens, you also have Parque Explora, which is kind of like their science museum. And I remember I went on a date there with one of my ex-girlfriends and it was just a really cool experience. And it's just a really nice vibe. There's not a lot of foreigners that go there so you're going to be mainly surrounded by locals it's just something low-key that i highly recommend if you have the time to go and visit and number 11 this is just kind of a bonus one you can go visit parque arvi santa elena or pueblito paisa these aren't super exciting for me because i've seen a lot of colombia already i've seen a lot of the pueblos so i would rather go to the actual pueblos but if you're here for a short period of time and you want to see how it feels to be in a original colombian pueblo these are really cool places to visit what do you guys think huge shout out to local medellin for letting me use this place again hit them up if you're looking for luxury airbnbs thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one bye